Praise the Lord. I'm glad you're with us today. Thank you for watching. This is part four of real life. We're talking about what real life is, how we can, how we can live a life that's real, that's a, a life that's enjoyable, a life that's satisfied. And uh, we've established that uh, you can only find that in God. Uh, number one, we were created to be His children. We were created by Him to uh, be loved by Him and to love Him. And so that, that's, that was, that's the reason you exist. And, and when you fight that, resist that, neglect that, what you're doing is you are basically uh, running from and neglecting your reason for existing. And the result of that is going to be a great deal of frustration in life. And everything's going to come up empty feeling and and there's always going to be something missing and then last week we talked about how important it is for us to enter into a relationship with this God this God who created us our maker the one that who uh, had a plan for us and a purpose for us from the very beginning and so uh, today we're going to continue on that uh, uh, on that subject of, of building this relationship into our lives. Uh, that's what we talked about, how important it is to the extent that we make God the most important person in our life. Not, not an important idea, not you know a good idea, uh, but a, a very important person, the most important person in our life. And it pays great dividends. And it doesn't mean that you neglect anybody else in your life, but what it does mean is that as you pursue Him, as you seek Him, what will happen is your life will change and, and you'll be transformed into a person that's going to enjoy other relationships uh, uh, even more. And so we feel like that's, that's something that you really need to uh, establish in your life, that, that God is so important that you are going to commit yourself to spending time with Him every day. And I, I want to start off with a scripture here, John 17 and chapter 3. I'm sorry, John chapter 17, verse 3. This is what it says, And this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. So Jesus here says that eternal life is knowing God. And we could say that real life is knowing God. How important uh, that is for us to grasp today. Eternal life is real life. And you can enjoy eternal life now. It's not something that we put off into the future. But let's get to, to what we want to uh, dig down into here today. And that is uh, our relationship and what our relationship with Him ought to look like. First of all, we need to, we need to understand that God is a God that speaks. God is a God who communicates. He's always communicated. From the beginning, we see Him speaking. And uh, so we, we, need to, we need to believe that God wants to speak to us, that, that what He has spoken, what He is speaking, is for us. And, and so to take advantage of that, we need to understand that in our relationship with Him, this communication is an important part of us building that intimate relationship with Him. He wants a bond with us. God does. He wants a very close, personal bond with each of us. And so it's important then that we take the time uh, in our lives to, to just uh, be with Him. And uh, uh, once again, as we talked about last week, we need to communicate with Him. We need to, it all begins, I believe, with us talking to Him, sharing with Him. And he also wants to give us guidance. It's so important, I believe, for us that we understand that God wants to guide our lives. He, he wants to help you in every part of your life, with your marriage, with your family, raising your kids, with your finances, with your business. Uh, in every part of your life, God has something that um, he, he, he wants to speak into that. He wants to direct us and guide us and put us on a, on a path where, where we, can, we can live our best life. And I believe that the, the, the uh, reality is um, the best life is, a one li is the one lived for God and one that, that allows God to direct it and guide it and give us the truths 
and the principles and the concepts that we need to, to have a successful life. He wants to comfort you. He wants to assure you. He wants you to have confidence in life. And so a uh, third reason why uh, God speaks to us is he wants to establish in us strength. And, and, and once again, a confidence. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And so your faith will grow and will deepen as you spend time with him and understand that this is a, uh, this is a process of communication where we're, we're communicating with him, he's communicating with us. And then I want to say to you that God wants us to know him. It's very important. I told you last week the importance of trusting him. And the way that, you know, you're not going to trust God if you don't really know God. So it's important that you know him. It's important that you get close to him. It's important that you begin to understand him and find out about things uh, about his nature and who he is and his character. And, and once again, he's a person. We're making him the most important person in our life. The more we get to know him, the more that we're going to trust him. And so it's important then that we also uh, understand them, that we listen to God. We need to be listeners and God wants to speak to us, and he wants to speak to us words of spirit and life, words that are going to transform our life and change us. And, and very often, one word from the Lord can change your life forever. And so it takes some time with him. We've got to discipline ourselves to be able to spend time, quality time, with the Father God. And so we need to hear from him. Uh, and, and, you know, not just... Uh, you know, we, we need to come to hear from him, not just to, to, to uh, you know, receive information about him, but we want, to, we want to know him personally. And so we're going to need to, to hear from him uh, in, in our time with him. Okay, so praying and listening is very important. Uh, intimacy with the Father is something that has to be cultivated. Once again, it's going to take time. So you've got to give Him time. You've got to give Him time daily. And, and it's going to take many, many, many days. It's going to take the rest of your life. As I told you last week, it's a lifelong pursuit to know Him. Now, a couple of generalizations here I think we need to, we need to catch a hold of. One is we primarily talk to Him by praying. And then we primarily listen to Him through His Word. Now that's kind of a generalization. There's other ways that God can speak to us, certainly. Um, but but we, need to, we need to build into our lives this, this uh, uh, discipline of praying, talking to Him, and then to, to get into the Word of God. It's from the Word of God that we're going to find uh, that revelation of who He is. The, the, the foundation from that is in your life is going to be is going to come from from what you what you uh, understand uh, through the word so you need to get in the word and learn about God learn about about, about the way that that he thinks think of you know find ways uh, uh, you know that he deals with other people and and then try to apply that to our lives so that's an essential part I believe also of our establishing that kind of deep relationship with him that we need. But you need to put word into you. You need to put word into your life because when you do that, the Holy Spirit then can use it. And the Holy Spirit will take things that you've read and as you meditate on it, as you think about it in your, in your daily life, as you spend time, uh, you know, just, just meditating, he, he's going to speak to you uh, from that and, and show you things and reveal things to you. And so it's very important then that you get word into your life, into your mind, and, and, and into your heart as revelation and illumination comes from the Holy Spirit. So you've got to kind of give him something, something to work with. So that's real important, uh, I believe, for us today as we, as we seek to find ways to establish this, this relationship this conversational relationship, this, this relationship that's, that is experiential. So you're not, you're not just knowing about him, but you're knowing him personally. So it's so vital for us. And so, so in closing, I think it's very important for us today as we seek to understand what real life is, is to know that it all, uh, all uh, flows out of our relationship with God. Eternal life is knowing God and His Son that He has sent. An important part of that, an essential part of that is being able to put ourselves into a position to where 
we can hear from Him. And, and He speaks to us in many different ways. We'll get into that later. But, but we need to put ourselves in a position to where God can reveal things to us and show us things so that our lives can become good lives, solid you know, lives that, that we, can, we, can be, uh, we can enjoy and, and find satisfying, okay? All right, thank you for watching. If we can help you, please let us know. Until next time, prosper, be in good health, even as your souls prosper. In Jesus' name, amen.